So, in this bathroom scene, which we made in a previous tutorial, if we want to render a 360 shot, first we need to add a camera and position it in the center of the room. We can here fix the rotation to keep it straight. Move the camera back a bit. Change the focal length to something like 26 to include most of the bathroom, and put the camera at a height of 1.3 meters. Now normally, the camera will be on perspective type, and the render will look like this. So, if we would change the type to panoramic, the look will change. Now the default panoramic type is the fisheye, but for this tutorial we need it to be on a queer rectangular type, and the render now should look like this one. One more thing you need to do is, make sure the resolution here on the X is double the Y value, so I will make it 2000 by 1000, and you can increase it up in the same factor. After that, you do the render settings as usual and render the scene to export the same PNG image. And here it is, your render result should look like this, now to convert it online to 360 degree image. I will use this site, link to it in the description, and as it says, you just need to drop the image here to upload it. Once it done, hit this blue button, then, go to the last option called Gpano Tags. After that, scroll down until you see a field called Projection Type, in it, you need to write the same panoramic type we assign to the camera, and you hit the blue go button. Now, close the editor from here and download the 360 degree image. With this last image we downloaded, you can share it online with sites like Facebook, or view it with any online image viewers like this one. Now, for this kind of images you might need to increase both the samples and the resolution values, but I leave that to you, and that's it guys, stay sharp, goodbye.